It brings much more calmness in the home if you try to actually match the artwork together in the different room. You know what also is nice? That you have this red in here and then also in this bigger painting that's standing over there. If these go together, oh yeah, also mm -hmm. totally different form language, but really in color use they are speaking to each other. So that could also be a really nice combination if you put would put this up somewhere, maybe even over there. That is strange. Yeah, right. <laughs> because here, when we came here, mm -hmm. most of the stuff were velvet black and velvet red, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that kind, exactly yeah. that yeah. kind of style. <laughs> I think that th this painting will go perfect with. But now this doesn't work. No, 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 no. it doesn't go. I completely changed, obviously. It's, kind the... of, it's, it's even kind of weird, right? No, yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it looks. Yeah, and then maybe doesn't fit. it could also go, but then, then I think you're... No, but this is the fun corner. <laughs> yeah, it makes your furniture look super... This is a deathly <laughs> serious working place, you know? <laughs> Probably not what you're looking for. But maybe it, it could actually work over here, because it has more of the darker colors in there, but then still... Yeah, because of the frame of the door, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it can work and still it doesn't fit right yeah so it, sometimes it, it there makes it that simply doesn't fit it makes it feel so serious now yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly but yeah i think it's mainly because of the red because this is this is also when you're looking at them together quite a serious painting but still because there's more pink in there and less red mm -hmm. this, this combination of red and black is super strong mm -hmm. and feeling feeling really heavy and also just yeah no even even with the black frame yeah 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 then and then because of this frame it's already becoming lighter but still because yeah. i i think it's because of this combination between the the dark black and the darker red and what what just for a sake of art let's mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. what do you think about this very very dark corner because it already has the curtains and the yeah. curtains looks a little bit more like boudoir mm -hmm. and maybe we yeah. can hide a little bit of the energy of the painting yeah and let's also... assume that somebody give you a present yeah. right <laughs> and be, bring this painting as a present yeah. this has a nice light from the light bulb yeah yeah yes great but i think when you want to place it in your house because every Everything that you until now put in here is more light and more modern contemporary style you would like. And then this really helps this painting to get a bit more a, a bit more light and fresh instead of really dark and heavy. And this I actually think is really nice. Still a, a really different style than the rest. Yeah, so if you make as a gift art mm -hmm. you should be very sure that you know the style of the house and the style of the people that yeah. you are buying art for yeah because sometimes it can end up in the cupboard forever yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if it is there for a short time yeah. <laughs> and you can play around a bit with all the art you have but <laughs> it would be a shame if it would end up in your cupboard like forever uh, shall we check up the bedroom? Yeah. So that's the, the one that was left. <laughs> yeah, so then we talked about the bedroom a bit. And what is, of course, nice about the bedroom is that you have a lot of textiles. So you have already have some structure. And then you have this lamp, which also has this structure. And then also over here. So we put up this painting above the bed because we're like, yeah, it, it works really well in here because of the pink colors that are in there. So the art in general we now place in here is not necessarily really standing out. It's more blending in, which I think is, is nice in the bedroom to create a space where you can actually rest and sleep and chill and not be bothered by the art screaming for your attention. And then you could of course play a little bit with the style. We place this over here. I actually have a few because they have differences in the in the amount of bright colors that are in there. So this is more blending in with the wood. And you could also place like something as a plant with flowers to uh, make a fun connection between what's on the painting and then what's standing on the drawers uh, next to it. Although it's a different style than the painting that is hanging above the bed, they are still talking with each other because they have the same color use in there. Even in a smaller room, you could definitely place like the more uh, modern art that's above your bed and then this more floral and fruity like 
uh, art, which I think could also work great in the kitchen, by the way. It's not necessarily like about food, but still because of the, of the, the form and the shapes that are in there, it could be really nice. And you could even repeat this because we now put this over here. But if you have multiple like these, it could be super nice to hang some extra on your wall or maybe over here to make more of a, a group of this. Make it a bit bigger than only this. I'll just stand over here and yeah. on, on the wall so you can see. Yeah, nice. That looks good. And even it's nice because one is going out from the wall mm -hmm. and the other is on the wall. Yeah. So you have this 3D yeah. Yeah. experience with it. It makes it feel feel your room bigger, right? If you're if you're playing a bit with the depth of the stuff you're hanging in place. Mm -hmm. You can also place it hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, that would on also court. be super fun and if you would hang it like just, above. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's super fun. Yeah, that's really another way to uh, to play with the art. Yeah, that's so cool. And for the big uh, wall, like mm -hmm. uh, usually, that is <laughs> trouble. Uh, maker because you have the bed and then you are always in between should I place anything <laughs> above or I should not be uh, bothered. So now we pick um, this very textile st structure mm -hmm. and also it has a repetition of the pink. It is not too much yeah. for, the, yeah. it's, for the bedroom. It's, it's not really like standing out. Uh, yeah, because but there still is something. Small. Yeah, but still there's something on the wall, and I also think that it's nice that it uh, it has this wooden frame with some structure on it because it would have been uh, like a, a flat wooden frame. Um, it it would feel flat in general, I think, because of this this frame with a bit of texture in it. It it's becoming more of uh, really a piece on the wall instead of just squeezed on the wall. <laughs> You can, of course, order a little bit <laughs> bigger size, like, <laughs> to fit the size yeah. of the wall that you want. Mm -hmm. But if you have to uh, somehow replace from the pieces that we have so far yeah. in the house, what will be your first choice oh. to place over here? Well, I, I think that this, in the atmosphere, I really like this the best. But like you said, it is kind of small for, for this spot. So maybe here something like a collage could also yeah. work really nice. And then we could actually yeah. use the one that was now on the, on the drawers. And now they, of course, all have uh, different frames, but you could... Yeah. You could actually like match the frames or, or not and, and leave it like this and make it a bit more experimental. But what is fun, I think, is that it's super different styles. So if you would, for example, take three paintings in this similar, very modern style, it could get kind of boring. And now it's really like, oh yeah, what did they mix over there? And, and yeah. still it's not uh, too screaming, I think. What do you will say about, yeah, let's place the biggest one on the empty wall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and let's see why this will not work. <laughs> yeah, actually, I can't say that it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, well, I think the proportion of it is, is really nice in proportion to the bed. I think it's just a matter of taste and what you would like, because this is really asking... <laughs> to be viewed and of course in in the bed you're you're laying faced to that side so if it would be on that wall you would probably go crazy before you go to sleep so on this wall it might work but it's really really the question of do you do you want something really speaking uh, above the bed or something more calming and then that would not be the case with this one this is a really speaking uh, speaking piece i think yeah, and you never know in earthquake it will go straight to your head. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, not, the biggest piece is not the best for the biggest. No, wall. not necessarily. Definitely <laughs> not. No, no. We have to wrap up here because uh, we are slowly um, getting to the point where we need to say bye to each mm -hmm. other. Right now, I have such a frame that never do this in your house. <laughs> like, what we have right now is never do the like we will end up with conclusion don't mix this painting with this super modern yeah. fancy uh -huh. piece of art uh -huh. in a combination with this super speaking in your most quiet room yeah, yeah. painting so yeah <laughs> this, 
So now you're looking at this, you're looking at this total mixture of uh, of styles, right? Exactly. Yeah. What you should not do. <laughs> <laughs> But that's also nice to see to to experience what does not work. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> But this already, uh, uh, the group that we were having before yeah. with like the illustration and then of course also the plant, then this would really be the weird one that's feeling out of place, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and just close the door. <laughs> <laughs> But even just this one would already be so much more absolutely in yeah. line with what's going on. Uh, so actually, could also be like this. But actually now when you are holding it like that, I yeah. can see that the problem wasn't the size, but the height. Yeah, it Which is, is also something that we should keep in mind. Yeah, of course, uh, above your bed, you don't want to put it too low. But if if you're like reading against the wall or even just coming out of bed, <laughs> you don't want to hit your head on the painting that you hang on your wall. But here, what would be good to, to consider is that, of course, you have your, your pendant lamp over there. So if you hang it on the original nail that's over there, no. you're probably not going to see it. And if you do it a little bit lower, because this would probably be too low, but just somewhere in between, like the height of the, the artwork that's uh, over there in the corner. Yeah. That would be just fine. And then, of course, yeah, you can play with doing it And more of course, vertical. we have perfect fitting pieces of art in Five New that you can just purchase and place on the right spot. Plenty of choice to, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to find the perfect match for your, uh, for yeah, your space. Yeah, but now, now, now things look much more... Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm together yeah but that's actually good that you pointed out that that we now considered like this corner as a as a story and then you could you could do something different here and over there but then it, it probably is gonna get annoying when you like we just did put your door open which is probably ca the case in 80% of the time you spend in your home <laughs> probably gonna be open and you're sitting here at your table or just chilling on the sofa and and seeing all of this stuff going on together at the same time. It brings much more rest and calmness in the home if you try to actually match the, um, the artwork together in the, in the different rooms. So if you have a situation like this, it works really nice together. We, we might say this looks very much okay mm -hmm. in the different colors that are not so much contemporary, but still yeah. looks a lot like Hero. Yeah. That is the um, more like Feng Shui style yeah. thing. Yeah, right? definitely. It's yeah, or even this one could be something you could match to, to the paintings you already are having Actually, here Actually, this right in, the now. in the bedroom. You could put it together, but also like if you hang this one on that wall and then put this in a different spot here on the drawer where we had the other one yeah. before, get, that could work very, uh, very oh, nice. Oh, that looks lovely. The natural mm -hmm. flowers. Yeah, and also the color on the wall is, uh, because now you, you have this paint, this painting with pink here with your more pinkish wall and then here you do the same but with a with the blue um, oh, yeah, from yeah, your yeah. from a your other wall. repetition of the background. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> This is so you good. should keep it there. <laughs> yeah, and also if you place a little bit of dry grass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it will remind on the fields. You could even are... uh, you could even put it in the frame because this frame has some depth in it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, for example, ah, does to not. To make it like uh, with the flowers, yeah, with herbs. So, yeah, oh, so you could put cool. this and then put some herbs maybe in front or a dried flower. That could look really nice. Fantastic. Oh, I think that this is very nice end of the, of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds beautiful to combine. Once again, nature and art, don't be afraid, experiment, play a lot in the house with the pieces that you have. And thank you, Femke, once again for yeah. the wonderful conversation. It was a great pleasure. I had a lot of fun once again. <laughs>